from Sydney Junior to season senior and championship winner, uh, we welcome Max Hughes online for a catch up. How's things? Thanks, Asha. Yeah, stoked to be here. Pretty excited. Watched a few, so yeah, excited to be here. <laughs> um, first things first, what high school did you go to? Tell us a bit about your background. Yeah, so um, I actually played my junior rugby at Sydney, so I was pretty lucky. Um, played all my junior rugby here and then was lucky enough to actually get in on um, on the ballot to Christchurch Boys High so went there for a few years and then have um, come back here to Sydney which is which is pretty cool. Cool. So we know you as a half, half back, so occasional first five. Um, what do you think of other half backs and um, I want to know how do half backs cheat the most that you've seen? Um, yeah we probably don't have a good rep um, from the public eye. Um, Yaffy and loud and annoying, but how we cheat the most probably at scrum time. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a straight feed, but yeah, <laughs> yeah that's probably the biggest thing. Do you always look um, to go on the blind side of the scrum? Do you always take that as an option? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty lucky with the um, outside backs that we have here at Sydney. Um, mm. They give me some pretty good options to to run down there. Yeah, it's always an option. I heard um, Jamie Flynn was really good in particular sprinting around scrums back in the day and, and going hard himself and making options what's your tactics in those areas um, I think it's probably just the biggest to, to count the numbers first if it's if it's not on it's not on but if they're only showing sort of one or um, one or so down that blind side then yeah I'll just probably give it to Frenner. Is, is there a specific um, training that you do for the halfback position yeah, so I try to do a sort of, um, I try and pass before every training session, but a really specific, maybe once or twice a week, and then me and Jack go down to the park on Fridays as well to have a week kick around, so yeah, that's sort of my weekly um, specific training. Do you train both hands, both feet? Yeah, oh, not both feet. My dad sort of told me off from a young age, he, he really wanted me to kick with both feet, but yeah, it's, it's not too good. <laughs> um, you mentioned, um, Christchurch Boys High School. Uh, we understand it was a pretty special time for you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so yeah, I played all my junior rugby at Sydney and then lucky enough in year nine to get in on the ballot to Boys High. It was all of, sort of always like a dream. I haven't told, because my, my dad's from Wellington so he didn't really know anything about the schooling here. But I sort of told him, I was like, damn, I want to I want to go to Boys High just from the history and the players that sort of came out of it. So yeah, I always wanted to go there and I was lucky enough to get in on the ballot. Both my sisters went to Cashmere High, so I was on my own um, down at Boys High. Um, played my junior rugby there, like year 9 and 10, and then from year 11 to year 13, I was lucky enough to play in the first 15 there, so we had a couple good years. I won it a couple of times and then lost it in my last year, but yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool time. That's awesome. Um, a cool story. Um, and another part of your story is your touch rugby experience. Uh, how does that graft into your rugby? Yeah, I. I sort of played touch um, ever since cricket got a bit boring for me. Um, as soon as it sort of ticked over that 40 over mark, I was like, yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> so I switched over to touch, but yeah, it's been really good. Um, not only for skill set, but just having a sort of social aspect as well in the summer. Being able to still play a team sport, which transfers over to my rugby is pretty, pretty lucky, but yeah, I just hope that sport goes professional one day. It really, it deserves it. Hmm. I think the, um, the public would love to watch it, but yeah, it just sort of doesn't have that real backing yet, but hmm. I think it'll come up soon. Well, the good use of um, video replays and things like that, see if you've got touch. Get in there, shit. <laughs> um, uh, kind of a deep question, maybe for some of the young people and the young adults watching out there. Um, how do you get good at rugby? And how, does, how does someone like you go from being a kid at, at the club and playing premieres? Sydney Rugby Club have won for the first time in a final at Rugby Park in 23 long years. Firstly, enjoying it a lot, enjoying training and enjoying the people that you're with. I think that's the biggest thing. And um, Sydney is a perfect tool for that. We always hang out outside of rugby and it's, and it's fun to come down to training and work hard. So I think if you enjoy it first, enjoy the people that you're with, then it becomes so much easier. So, yeah. Cool. Um, and 
you are a bit of a popular figure around the, the club. We often see um, family and friends supporting you at, at home and away games. What, what's it like having that sort of uh, base? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, my family haven't missed a game since um, since I was a junior, but all, also all my um, all my mates they call themselves the Dead Bull Bandits. <laughs> the likes of um, Jimmy Lim, Posse Manu, <laughs> Chop Kelly, J Mac back now. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool to have on the Dead Ball line. So every week, so they're always there, and that's that's big just for the club as well. Cool. Um, do you have a rival at another club? I wouldn't call it probably a rival, but it's pretty cool to play against the guys that I was in the um, in the academy with. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was there was a good bunch of us that um, trained a couple of times a week just as halfbacks there. And, yeah, there's, there's a few really good ones coming out, so yeah, it's cool to go up against them a few times a year. Cool, and that'd be the, the um, boys high players? Yeah, and, boys yeah. high as well. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of younger boys high boys, older ones, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool, um, hey, what would you say to someone junior or senior looking to play for Sydney Rugby? Um, I'd probably just say to come along straight away. Um, the word, like, family club gets thrown around a lot, but I think it's because we just truly mean it, like we come in every Tuesday, Thursday really wanting to play with each other and train with each other so yeah it's mm. always cool, no matter the age group we're, we're all pretty connected so yeah come down or even if it's just as, as a supporter um, it'd be cool to see you all. I really appreciate those words, um, look I gotta run and I know you gotta run Here we go. so um, we're gonna put you on the hot seat which you've agreed to. Yeah, here uh, we go, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Sweet, you got to answer these questions as quickly as possible. Baked beans or spaghetti? Spaghetti. Uh, how does a small man tackle a big man? You don't. Uh, favourite Sydney player growing up? Uh, Jimmy Lum and Skinner. Cool, is it true you're going to go to Sumner after high school? Nah. Who's your favourite boss? Um, Tahu Ka. Nah, well, beta, beta. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get fired. <laughs> Where would you like to play overseas? Uh, Japan. Brilliant. Um, look, appreciate your time. And uh, <laughs> you've uh, been an awesome feature for our interview series. And um, yeah, you're a real asset to the club. Uh, we know you do a lot of work from pre-season right to the end. Thank you. And have you got any parting words, any shout outs? Nah, just um, come along every Saturday. We'd love to see you. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you all soon.